It's the movie everyone is talking about, Fantastic Four. But who better to talk about it than the people who made it? So man, the scrutiny on these comic book movies is getting intense. Yeah. What's it like working in this genre? It's great. I mean, you know, it's it, you're not wrong. It's intense and, and challenging, but that's because they've become so popular. And they're more of them now, so the competition's mm -hmm. more fierce. You have found yourself in a little bit of a similar situation to John Boyega over in Star Wars. Which is what? Uh, you know, uh, some people not being as accepting about diversity with these uh, franchises. Have you and John Boyega talked at all? No, not at all. We haven't. Because I think that you've handled it really well. Thank you so much. And so what are you hoping that people take away when they see your character on the screen this weekend? A great performance. I think Johnny Storm's an incredible character, so I think I hope people will take away that uh, you know I did a good job playing Johnny Storm. So this isn't your first motion capture rodeo. No. How is the medium or the technology coming along from movie to movie? It's advancing so quickly. I made a movie uh, called uh, Tintin, mm -hmm. uh, and that was kind of my first experience with it. And uh, while we were making that, we were using the same equipment that the guys from Avatar were using. And some of the guys were kind of still floating around in the studio, and they would see the stuff that we were using, mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, we didn't have that. <laughs> you know, we didn't get that, all that cool stuff, but you know. And even since then, like since that movie, since Tintin, it's advancing like all the time. I just saw a picture of Andy Serkis, who's in Star Wars, and he has a motion capture suit, and that was... Insane. Wow. You managed to have some great synergy this week with not only this film opening, but the Deadpool trailer. Yeah, yeah. How is it, you know, building the Fox comic book cinematic universe? It's fun. I get to work <laughs> with these characters that I grew up loving, um, you know, and, and, and work in different movies that have different tones, different filmmakers, um, and really just play around. Well, what's nice about this movie is the very strong scientific aspects to it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not just, I got superpowers, I'm going to go save the world. Mm -hmm. Do you hope that that maybe inspires kids to maybe be more interested in science I mean, for sure, I think science is cool, you know, and I think we show science in a very realistic way, you know, everything's pretty much practical, we didn't want to do, we didn't want to do too much, uh, you know, fantasy besides the obvious, you know, teleportions to different dimensions, but we wanted to show a part of science that was, you know, could or may be possible in the future, you know, that's the kind of the side that we want to show, so I hope we do inspire a new generation of kids that are invested and, uh, and more interested in the sciences, because we need that spirit, we need that, that, that pioneer spirit. You know, there's a lot of bullying as well now, and sometimes kids who like science, get bullied. What do you think they should take away from a big blockbuster action movie like this? I feel like feel good about themselves and you're probably going to go farther than them in life. <laughs> If you're super genius, I mean, you, sh you should feel great. I have to say, it was a, a, a lot of fans were very interested. They didn't give the thing any uh, any uniform at all. Were you in on that decision? No, I'm not part of any decision making like that. No, uh, but uh, hopefully you'll get some fans in the sequel. Finally, I have to say congratulations. You're getting so much press these days. How does it feel to have the writer in Hollywood finally, you know, get some respect? Well, I like writers getting respect. It's a little bit embarrassing that it's me, but um, but I, I, I certainly am very happy that writers uh, are getting recognized as, as authors of the movies they work on. Um, and I think there is a new phase in Hollywood where film is looking to writer-producers the way that traditionally for decades TV has. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the TV world, writer-producers are, are considered the author, or at least the co-author of, of their shows. Um, and it's important to me that, that writers are seen that way. So while, well, you know, I don't like having my picture taken and I don't like, um, um, you know, I, most of us become writers so we can hide at home in our pajamas and not be out in oh, front no, of the world. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> but it's not the part of my, my job I like the most. But I am happy that we're What do you like dogs. the most? I have to ask. Being at home in my pajamas, you know, <laughs> having imaginary stories and putting them down on a piece of paper.